Lou, did you ever pick a theme and then apply one of those templates and then somewhere down the line you want to go and change it? Well, uh, today we're going to talk about Smart Slider 3. It's uh, one of my favorite plugins. It enables you to be able to change a theme down the road without affecting the slider that you've built and applied to it. Because a lot of the templates or other themes might not recognize what you had already built to that website. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Jim from SEO Marketeer. I do uh, tutorials on web development and social media content. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you enjoy this video, give me a like. It'll help my YouTube rankings out quite a bit. Today we're going to get into the Smart uh, Slider 3. I'm going to walk you through how to set it up. What are some of the benefits and features of it? And without further ado, let's get started. So let's get started today. Uh, here I have a, a WordPress already installed on uh, one of my web hosting. I use SiteGround for uh, any of you who uh, are interested. I'll leave a link below in the comments on how you can go out and get it. Uh, it is an affiliate link, so I will get a little bit of money off that, help out my YouTube channel. Uh, so let's get started here on the plugins. So you go to plugins, right? So I already have a, a number of things. I, I have the Elementor site uh, theme builder already installed on this with the, the Ocean Extras. So uh, I'll show you a little bit about that when we go to add it. So we're gonna add a new plugin for right now. And let's go ahead and install the smart slider. So in the search bar, we just type in smart slider three. Should find it. We're going to install it. It'll say right here by next in. Go ahead and activate it. Okay. Then it should show up here on your sidebar on your, uh, your WordPress admin panel. So we're going to go to the dashboard. So now you'll see Smart Slider here. What's really nice about the Smart Sliders, they have a number of uh, templates already built for you. So there's a tutorial one and there's a couple of di uh, demo sliders already built. So uh, these are kind of ones I had played with before. So from here, we're going to go with new and you're going to have the option here to do create a new project or start uh, with a template. So let's start with the templates first because it'll give you an idea of what's ca what it's capable of. Now there's a number of free templates here in, in the Smart Slider, uh, I guess, catalog here. So we'll look at this and like you can get a full width post slider, you can get a graduate uh, gradient slider, you can get an image slider, feature slider. So it'll be up to you what type of slider you want. If you're running a blog, then a post slider is always nice because they could uh, you can portray your, you know, your most popular post up front or your new post, even if you want to put them into your slider and you could change this around. So if you go here, you'll see where it's free. There's all of them. There's free. You got full width ones. You got a full page. Page, uh, not sure of what's free. See, these are pro only. So I think if you go to the free, you're going to see that they're mostly just the sliders. But if you want the pro version, you go and check it out the website. There might be some templates you'd be interested in. So for the start of this, we're just going to import a full width post slider. Okay, so here we are. And now you're going to see there's, it starts out with three sliders. What's really cool about this is that it, it, it portrays your post. So you put a little bit of text and a readme link to the post itself. So within the slide, uh, you can go in and uh, you can edit the slide. So if you use the template, obviously it's going to come with whatever st standard uh, <clears throat> images and text. So here's your, you know, it'll pop up into your content and your style, your style being your background, you know, uh, whether you want alt text, image text, or S and, you know, any SEO tags, you could add them right here into the, the slider. So if you look here, it'll say slide background. If you hit plus, it'll take you to your media li library. So you can add whichever, uh, media you want so here we can put, look at this and i have a little girl here with a dog so if i add that in it, it'll pop up into the background now so uh content here is you can you know you got slide one's the name of it you could add a description uh you could put in a link to 
if you click on here it'll show you a link to a poster to a product uh, depending on which one you're going to look at so right now we could do a, a post one but i'm not going to insert anything for this i'll show you how to do that when we actually go to build one from scratch so like i said uh background animation is disabled by default so if we go into here it's easier to enable that so if you want your your sliders to uh, let's save this image here so and then if we go uh let's go back one level here to the smart slider so these are three for some reason sometimes it gets a little funny like that it didn't change the image on here but it is actually changed so now if you look down here he, these are more of your slider controls so you have your your general slider which is your short code which we're going to copy this and paste it into the site so let's do uh, uh we can copy that now because i don't think i'm going to paste anything else into here so so if you look at this, you can set your divide, your size. So if you want your maximum width to be a certain size, you can enable that on, say, the desktop, a tablet, a mobile. So it is responsive from that perspective to where you can actually uh, set the size to the specific device that you want people to see. You know, whether it be portrait or landscape, uh, most of the time, you know, it's, it's going to come up landscape anyway because it's the size of the image. So you got full width and box. Box meaning that if you wanted it on a page in between like a sidebar, you'd want it box. But in this case, we're just going to start out with full width for now. I can show you how to actually add it to a page on in between the sidebar and the we'll say the left side of the opposite, the right side. So here's your controls. Uh, you know, you have your uh, your arrows if you want uh, your next arrow. So when we look at the slider, whether or not you would be able to scroll right or left. You know whether a text bar whether you want a thumbnail or a shadow you can add, enable all those features i'm not going to do that so animation here this is always good uh, your main anim animation is horizontal you can change this to do a fade or you can you know be vertical or whichever one you want uh, right now like i said that it is disabled so if we enable this you'll see your uh, choices here to scale to the left to zoom in and out it will rotate to the left but uh because that's what it's set to do, but it's just showing you what it's going to do as it does it. So if we click on this, let's just do zoom out and we'll apply this. So right now, let's save that. I always like to save my things. So like I said, here you're going to go and enable autoplay. So if you want the, the animation to take effect, you have to do autoplay. Otherwise, it won't load. And then you could do whatever duration you want it to be, whether it, you know, 8,000 milliseconds is enough or you want it to be quicker before it it turns on and off or before it slides to the next one you can do some optimization here but i think if you click on this there is going to be a limit it's going to take up memory to optimize it it's going to use your memory to cache the images so let's just leave that off for now on here you can be loading whether or not it be instant whether you want it to be after the page load or after or a delay where you could set a delay if you want it to load. I'm just going to leave it on instant. I want my slider to come up as my page loads and not after it loads. So like I said, here's your slides. You want, you want to fill the image to the background or you can stretch it, blur it. Uh, tile is always kind of cool if you have a specific need where it'll actually put it to a certain size and it'll tile the rest of the, uh, the, the slider around the outside. It looks kind of cool in certain uh, instances. So developer clear before, you know, uh, these are some features that you're probably not going to want to play around too much with unless you're a little bit more advanced. So let's go ahead and save this. And like I said, I copied short code. The way this works all off is short codes. So if we go up to a page, I already have a home page set up. Let's go into edit. I'll say edit. You could edit with Elementor if you want to actually edit the home page, but that, you know, that's not really what this uh, tutorial is about today. I've done other ones on Elementor, uh, if you want to go and see them. Uh, so down here, you'll see the uh, Ocean WP. Like I said, I have the Ocean theme uh, in here. So, and the Elementor. So Ocean theme is the o Ocean Extras, which if I go down to here, I go to Short Codes. Now you could place the short code wherever you want. So if you want it after the top bar, uh, before the header, so if I place it, let's, uh, let's just take a quick look. So if I put this before the header, I'll show you how it looks. So if we refresh my page, this is the actual website itself. Like I said, there's not much in it. But you'll see now you have a slider up at the top. So uh, then on my 
your, you know, my, my WordPress, or if you were to put a logo, it'd be in there. And then my bar would be down bottom. So if you want your, you know, your slider to be at the very top of the page, you could put it there. And as you see, it's scrolling. And if you could see the fade out, you, you, uh, the, the way it's going back to front, you'll see how it like kind of comes out that way as it, as it transitions across, opposed to just sliding. Like I said, there's some of the animation effects and you could have a play with them and pick the one that you think looks best on your website. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of that takes up uh, resources and slows down processes. So you might want to limit to how much animation you actually have on a website. So like I said, here we put it before the header. So, uh, so if we get rid of that and let's put it after the header itself and update it. Then we go back to the website and refresh the page. You'll see now that your logo or my WordPress up here, if you apply a logo, obviously it will show up. And then you'll see your uh, menu up at the top, right? Opposed to it being underneath, which is probably a little bit more uh, what people are looking for. Now you could leave this up here and you can move the menu down. I mean, it's obviously there's different ways to lay out the website. Uh, you can lay it out however you want. But I think uh, if you have a logo up here, it's always good to have the, that, you know, way to click back to the home page without having to scroll down on the website, right? So uh, but that's just a personal preference for me. So like I said, here's the, the slider now. You'll see it in action. I didn't change these images. We can go back and change them if you want. But let's go back to uh, the Smart Slider 3, and I'll show you how to build one from without using one of the themes. It's pretty, uh, actually say it's pretty similar, right? But a little bit different. So, like I said uh, here, if we do this, we're gonna create a new project. Now this is a slider, it's not block. We're gonna do simple. We'll call it my project. Let's do two, right? Just for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and create it. Now, when, when now you'll see this, it's going to be pretty much the similar uh, or the same controls down bottom. But here you get the choice. You could pick this. So if you want to put a blank slider in, you can create one from scratch. You could add a post, the static overlay, or dynamic slides. So let's go in here, and I'll show you like I was talking about posts before. So I created some posts earlier. They're just basic uh, a, a sign. This is sample. So I did put an image. So if we go and add this, now you'll see how it's got a, it pulled the post directly into it. Now this is gonna be a different short code for this one. So uh, you can see I can add another post into here and let's go down and let's do this one and we'll add this in so we can create a little bit of a slideshow, right? So let's go in and save this now. Uh, like I said before, you got your size, which we're not gonna to touch. Controls again, we're not gonna to touch, right, for now. Uh, animation, obviously every time you do this, it's going to be disabled by default. So let's go back in and we can do a, let's just do curtain to the left, right? So we'll look so we can see something a bit different. And like I said before, go back down, enable autoplay. Then let's save this. I'm not going to get too much into the optimization and all that SEO. You can do that yourselves. Uh, obviously, you want some key uh, search terms. And, you know, it's always good when you do your images to actually name them and not just put ja, ja, ja image because, uh, you know, it does help in the Google rankings. So now if we go back up to, let's go to the general again, and we're going to copy this new short code, right? Uh, if you want a PHP, if there's a reason you're going to do it in PHP, you could copy the paste code right here. Uh, but for, like I said, for the sake of this, we're going to do this in short codes. So if we go back down and edit my home page. back down the short codes. Like I said, now we're gonna paste this as uh, be the number seven slider. So we're gonna update this. Let's go back to the web. And now you'll see there's a new one I just created here. And this is actually the post I created. So if you click on this, 
it should automatically take me to the post the sample post that I created which is kind of cool that you can actually you know put your post directly into it without actually having to you know uh, build it all out in a slider by itself so like I I'll show you what the difference on the box one would be so if we go back into this my project 2 where we created that uh, post sliders if we go down to here uh, go to size scroll down make it a box hit save then we go back to uh, let's go back to the page at home sure codes let's get rid of this let's copy of this and we'll get rid of it off of here because we're going to paste it right into elementor now so if you edit in elementor that's the page is actually using elementor as a page builder so you'd want to do all your work into elementor like i said uh, with the ocean theme you can actually add those short codes there uh, i had already added this at one point so uh, let me get rid of this i'll show you how to do this real quick so you go full width here and we're going to go up to here and we're going to type in short code unless you use any of the other uh drag this into here and then we got our short code here and we're going to paste it here now, uh, when we go update here, you'll see how it fits in between. So now, instead of it being full width now, even though it's set to, to a full width, it's a box. So it's going to fit in between. So if you had a sidebar here with a bunch of different elements and you wanted it to sit in here, it would sit in here opposed to sitting across the top. Like I said, and these should be all responsive because they're, they're linked directly to the to the blog posts themselves so like i said it's not normally the way i like to do it i like the full width but it, it'd be up to you there could be a, a preference why you'd want a slider maybe on a separate page than the home page or maybe you want your home page to have a full sidebar so you could do it that way as well so so if we get rid of this real quick let's just get rid of that again And we're going to always update everything because it'll ask you to leave. So we're going to exit out of Elementor. Exit back to the WordPress editor. We'll go back down to the short codes. And uh, like I said, here we go again. You get it before the header or after the header is always the best place to put it to me. After again. And so if we go back to here, you'll see that it goes up. Uh, back to the home page like I said you got the scrolling arrows on the side change that bit up if you want and you'll see how it's uh, coming across like I said the animation you could change to however you like it so if we go back to uh, back to the dashboard here like I said uh, my project 2 this is the one where we put in the post like I said you could apply anything you want so you could add a new slide here uh it takes you back to the dash i said you can go pro right here and click on this and then you probably could take a look at what additional things uh, it starts as a uh, you know this is i'm here in the uk right now so it's saying it's 32 pounds which is probably somewhere around f almost 40 dollars you know 160 dollars we'll say and 259 dollars i don't know i'd have to go to the us but right now i'm sitting in london so it's popping up it's uh as uk so like i said you can go and read what you get you know your single 10 sites or unlimited sites if you're a developer uh there are some additional features and templates that you will get with it so it's always kind of cool to check out the pro version and as you build your website and get some traffic and monetize that blog or whatever website you have you might look to say like i spend a little bit of extra money and uh you know put some product sliders in there and do a little bit better layout and drive more revenue pay for itself so there you have it today thanks and i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a like so I make sure you give that uh no hit that notification so you get notified next time i put out content similar to this if you want to see anything 
a little bit more detail or any other plugins that you could think of, uh, leave a comment below and I'll make sure I respond. Thanks.